I just want to go on the record saying something about Hugh String, Mark Brown, whatever her name is. You know, let's face it, folks. You're wasting your time trying to find a transient. And don't be blaming the police because they can't find him. There's either three scenarios that happened to this young man. Or I see it. Either he hopped a train somewhere to nowhere and he don't want to be found. Or he went out there and did himself in. Because anyway, what kind of nut job hops on a train? That's crazy shit in the first place. And I know a lot of you ain't gonna like this video and I don't care. But getting on a train, hopping a train going somewhere, that's just plain stupid as it is. And a guy that's making money, profiting off of teaching people how to do such a thing. Well, let me just say this, that's wrong. And the good Lord has a way of sorting out right from wrong. So don't be blaming the police because they can't find shoestring, whatever his name, Mark Brown. You got to have a kind of a personality of a piss ant to go out and do what he did anyway. It's a dangerous thing, kids. Don't be train hopping. You end up getting yourself killed. You can see what happened with this guy. You end up going crazy hearing voices, doing whatever he did, went to the hospital, I don't know. But I want y'all people to know, don't go out there risking your life to try to find this guy who's living this kind of life. We don't know where he's at. This could be just a big publicity stunt to boost his channel for all we know. I think it's just a waste of time and the police doing the best they can do with what they got to work with. So don't knock the police, okay? I am so tired of hearing about this guy. And all because he got a YouTube channel te teaching people what not to do. <laughs> he finally found him a little niche where he could make him some money. He got a little taste of that wealth, I guess. And then he just decided to go wander off somewhere. And nobody knows where. We don't know if this is a publicity son. Or he, he really is missing. But what I don't appreciate. Is that people in there saying the police ain't doing enough they can do. They doing all they can do. What can they do? This young man goes out. Hitches on the train going to God knows where. And you're going to blame the police because they can't find him. He's probably in a, he could be in a boxcar locked up dead already. It's been, what, a week or over a week or something like that? That's just my two cents. I'm turning my comments off because I really don't want to hear what you got to say. All I'm telling you is, shoestring, if you're out there doing a publicity stunt, causing all these people you know people get killed trying to rescue people too by the way shame on you and shame on you for making this channel i was a railroad police for a number of years and i can can't tell you how many carcasses i scraped up off the rails it ain't cool and it ain't nice and you know something it's no glorified life as you could see this guy's missing a finger because of his, his ignorance and hopping on a freight train. Well, that's all I got to say, folks. You know, it just ain't the right thing. And I mean, I hope the guy's okay. But let me just tell you this. It's a very foolish, foolish person that does what he did. And kids, if you're watching this channel... You don't be jumping on no trains. It's illegal in the first place. You get a ticket. You get locked up in jail. And it's a federal crime if you get caught in a transportation hub. That is like a UPS center or something like that. We're going to find you. And we're going to arrest you. And you're going to jail. Bye-bye now.